Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say you my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. Was that a D Brown? They tried to do the D Brown. Tribute to D Brown. And then you saw him pump up the shoes. Yeah, he pumped them up. Uh oh, this is shot. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of time left. So, as y'all know, the All Star Weekend has came to an end. And in Indianapolis, with the All Star game last night, Damian Lillard won the MVP. The whole both teams combined with almost 400 points. And so I come to the conclusion today. After seeing the whole weekend, you know, on unravel, this is probably the worst All Star weekend I ever witnessed, and that's exactly what we're gonna get into this video. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy Will. We're back and give another video. So, obviously, Friday night started with the celebrity game. Not gonna lie, the celebrity game might have been the most enjoyable event, other than the three point contest. Three point contest was the most enjoyable event. Obviously, in the celebrity game, you had class and that. You had Michael Parsons. You had the co two coaches going out against each other with Stephen A and Shannon Sharp. You had, I believe, 50 Cent. You had uh, T Jazz. You had other, other stars out there, right? And Michael Parsons ran with MVP. Okay. That was cool. That was, you know, that was actually dope. Fast forward to Saturday night. Skills challenge, I don't watch it. It's not, it's not it's unwatchable. Three point contest was decent. Everybody in the first round made over 25 threes, I believe. That was pretty impressive. And then it came down to the end between Dame and Cat. Dame won three point contest. And then you had Steph Curry versus Sabrina. Sabrina's, she, she stood her own. She did, she's, Shot behind the men's three point line, which was impressive, and made 24. Curry beat her and made 29. I believe it was either 24 or 26 that Sabrina won, made, and Curry made 29. Then we got the dunk contest. Listen, after looking at it, you know, I watched it, I was snoring, right? We had Hami Hawkeyes jumping over Shaq. Cool. I mean, it's not easy doing that. That's it's impressive, but it's like we've seen that before. You, know, you feel me? We had Obi Toppin's little brother doing basically the same dunks that Obi Toppin did. We had Matt Malone doing Matt Malone things. We, I knew he was going to win it again, but again, I believe he did the same kind of dust he did last year. Then we got Jalen Brown. Now, let me say this. Didn't see Jalen Brown as a dunker for a dunk contest. He's an in-game dunker. Okay, he's an in-game dunker. So I knew he was not going to win. And he was definitely the worst contestant in this. He was horrible. But he was inter He did this on purpose to be entertaining. That's why he was booed for jumping over Cass and that. It was it was just, it was a joke for him. Like he's he's doing this to make sure all these other stars should be. To not be afraid to get humiliated in the dunk contest. And I'm gonna speak on that. So the reason why the John Morants, the Anthony Edwards, Zion Williamson, hell, even LeBron James throughout his career doesn't doesn't participate in the dunk contest. One, they're afraid to get injured. Their legs. Now, a lot of these analysts don't talk about that. They are afraid to get injured because most of the people that participate in dunk contests, they end up with injuries later in their later career. Look at Blake Griffin, right? Look at Jason Richardson. Look at Nate Robinson. Look at, you know, they end up with Zach Levine. They end up with bad injuries later in their career. Unfortunately, hopefully these players don't, don't end up with that. Now, Aaron Gordon is still going strong. But, like I said, the another reason, and the biggest reason, in my opinion, these judges, these judges are very 
stereotypical. Very. I, 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 nobody's about to talk about that. These judges are trash. It, it's all. It's only there. It's always that one judge that messes everything up. So I remember when I believe it was Matt Malone that come up came out with a a great dunk the first round. They gave that man forty six and forty sevens for that. But you got Jalen Brown jumping over casting that he had a higher grade than Matt Malone's first dunk. See, this is what what these athletes are afraid of. Losing because of the judges mess everything up. Look what happened to Aaron Gordon. In my opinion, Eric Gordon should have should have won two dunk contest winners. He should have won back in 2016, and he should have won 2020 for sure. 2020, but since it looked like he didn't clear Taco Fall, they get it was one. But I forgot it was maybe D Wade. They gave him 49. So this, this is the, this is the problem. I believe the judges are the biggest problem. This is my opinion. They're the biggest problem why these athletes don't want to participate in the dunk contest. And obviously, injuries too. And yes, it could be because they don't want to get humiliated also. So that, that that's the third reason. Now, let's get, like I said, the John Brown dunk over the that was trash. He deserved to get booed. But he's doing it for entertainment. So I applaud Jalen Brown for that. Now, let's get to, let's get to the All-Star game, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> so the last time. I remember the All-Star game being competitive to the stint. The worst year in our lifetime, 2020. Remember that year? COVID, Kobe passing away. Everything's going wrong. David Stern passing away. Like everything went wrong that year. The All-Star weekend was amazing that year. I don't know if y'all remember Aaron going again. Aaron going should have won that year. Clearly over there, Jones Jr. That man did a 360 baseline catch. That was one of the best, greatest dunks I've ever seen. Other than the one he did in 2016 where he looked like he was taking a dunk midair. But that dunk was insane. Right? And then the All-Star game. Four quarter came around. You see people diving on the floor. You see Kawhi put, getting fadeaway mid shot. Mid shots. You see Giannis blocking. I believe I forgot who player that was going to the rim, but he blocked somebody's shot. You see LeBron taking charges. Not, no, it wasn't LeBron. You see LeBron deflecting steals. You see Devin Booker getting the steal and getting the back bucket. It was everything on that full quarter that was so amazing about that All Star game. Everybody was competing. They wanted to win. Unlike this year, this is a bunch of bunch of players just running around, just letting everybody do what they want to do and shoot shoot half court threes and dribble dribble nonstop, just looking at them like they cones or something to look at them score. This is pathetic. The fact that they had a combined four hundred points score is ridiculous. That's unacceptable. Stop it. Come on, man. I, I didn't even watch. It. I'm glad I went to sleep on it. I w I was trying to watch it, but I'm I'm so glad. I went to sleep because it was pathetic. It was it was unwatchable. Well, I woke up too. Congrats to Dame getting an MVP, but the NBA needs to do something. Here's my theory: because everybody got the theory of what they need to do for the All Star. It might be rats for the dunk contest. They might need to, if they want to if they want to continue this. They, it might be rats for this. Instead of having a dunk contest or skills challenge, the skill challenge don't need to be in there either. But the dunk contest, it just looks like no, it's it's so many dunks somebody someone could do. I think everybody ran out of ideas, so they need to have a one v one tournament. They need to have them with the best players in the. In the All Star Weekend competition, this is like the three point contest. They need to have a one v one tournament. You put your best player in every team in this thing. So, meaning, 
If you're on Dallas, you put Luka in there. If you're on the Lakers, you put LeBron in there. If you are Minnesota, you put Anthony Edwards in there. You go against the players that think they're better than you. So, for instance, they have Ant versus Edge SGA going against each other. Do a 1v1 tournament with that, those two. Do it. LeBron versus KD, even though they, they both under the age, do a 1v1 tournament. Steph versus Kyrie, do a 1v1 tournament. They need to have that. This, that's the only way they can save this. Because it, it's just unwatchable, man. It, it's, it's just, you know, if I was there, it would be a lot better if I was in attendance. But still, it's just, come on, man. They need, they need to do something about this. And that's my theory. They need to have a 1v1 tournament. Probably take out the dunk contest. Because there's it's nothing else to do for the dunk contest. Everybody did the dunks already. We was blessed to see Dominique Wilkins. We was blessed to see MJ. We was blessed to see Dr. J. We was blessed to see Vince Sanity. We was blessed to see Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon go back and forth. Now, I think everybody ran out of dunks. As for the All-Star game, Honestly, unfortunately, these players they don't they're not interested in playing all that, that's what it looks like. They 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 they're not interested in doing this. That's all I gotta say for this video, man. If y'all enjoyed, give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel for new. Comment down below your thoughts on this All Star weekend. Was it good? Was it terrible? Was it decent? What 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 do you think about this? Because I was just disappointed. I was snoring through the whole weekend, man. Other than doing work, but come on, man. Like I said, y'all enjoy. Give me a like, subscribe, channel, review. I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. Be a little well.